Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hello. I'm saying hello to everybody and I have a mute on. Hi, Ray. <laughs> hello, how are you all? Doing good. Good. So I smell there. I, I all I smell is the the I can wash I can wash her. I can smell it. You can I smell don't know it? If it's okay. like on the rug. That's why I'm asking because yeah. I can't. Yeah, it's she something. hasn't like rolled on the rug or anything. Okay. Is it in here? No, it's like when I walk in, I was like, oh god. See, I, I, I don't know if I can't smell anything right now. I can smell it okay. there. Sorry. Sorry. I can also do it at the end of this too. Oh, yeah, I have to leave it too, so you can do it right now. Oh, okay. Is it okay with everything that's going on at work? Okay. Hey, Jane. Hey, Jane. Hi, everybody. Who all do we have? Lisa, how are you feeling? A little better. I still got this uh, persistent cough, so I'm going to try not to talk too much today. Oh, well, that'll be our loss, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Actually, I think we have a pretty light agenda. Yeah. It's not as full as um, a lot of times we have. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Bethany. How was the, how was the, ba uh, the ba it was baseball. How was the baseball game? It was basketball. Oh, uh, they ask about. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, they won one game and lost three. So, <laughs> and they were there, and they put in their all, and that's what matters. Exactly. Exactly. So, let's see who yes. are we to see. I, I I think that um, Dee's going to join us. I see that Ray is here. I'm not sure who M.A. Um, we've got uh, um, Marcella's here. Oh, Marcella, yay. Hello, hello. I'm sorry I missed the last one, but I looked at the notes. Everything looks like things are moving along. We are, and so glad to have you. <laughs> <laughs> glad to be on. <laughs> well, that's good. We know that we have a quorum. Yeah. We have hey. enough work on. We'll wait a couple of more minutes to see who else joins us. Okay. I'm kind of sucking on a lemon candy here, and I, I probably shouldn't have done that right before starting the meeting. <laughs> I'm getting ready. To, I'm getting ready to take a cough drop, so you're fine. <laughs> I just don't want to be coughing all the way through. I'm eating lunch, so yes, we're all doing <laughs> yeah. our thing. <laughs> like your hat bethany and i didn't know that we had a mutual friend until christopher sent me the picture from pride i know that wasn't that funny that I love that. he's yeah. so sweet he's so sweet that was I, so fun it was so much fun boy pride was hot oh being in the sun oh it was hot. I ended up leaving early because i was just and my dog i had my dog uh, at the festival and she just got too hot, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and if it lets me start the recording.
Well, my is, is, it hasn't been letting me, but I think it might let me today. Oh, Mariah, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So we're ready whenever you are. We're ready okay. to get started. We can do roll call. Okay, I will go ahead and call this meeting to order of the Commission on Diversity Awareness uh, for our June meeting, June 21st, 2023, and it is 1.30 p.m. Uh, first, let's start with the roll call. Jean Toner here. Carolyn Kidd has already called in uh, absent. Um, Sarah. Here. Um, Mandy. Okay, she may jo uh, join a little bit late. I'm not going to put her down absent yet. Marcella. Here. Okay, Bethany. Here. Anelika. Alika just joined. Okay. All right. So the only one absent is uh, Carolyn, and we'll see about Mandy. All right, who would like to read the mission statement as we open our meeting? I, I can do that, it's Commissioner okay. Jarvis. Thank you. Uh, mission statement is a commission to foster, support, respect, uh, awareness, and appreciate of diversity among all citizens of Flagstaff. Who would like to read the land acknowledgement? I can read it, this is Commissioner Pino. Okay, thank you. The Commission on Diversity Awareness humbly acknowledges the ancestral homelands of the area's indigenous nations and original stewards. These lands, still inhabited by native descendants, border mountains sacred to indigenous peoples. We honor them, their legacies, their traditions, and their continued contributions. We celebrate their past, present, and future generations who will forever know this place as home. Thank you, sir. I mean, uh, um, uh, Marcella. Um, upcoming announcements and opportunities. Does anybody, either uh, commissioner or guests, have any um, announcements to make about upcoming opportunities or announcements? Summertime. <laughs> I think we have fewer things that are going. A lot more things going on, but uh, fewer things re regarding the commission. OK, now is the opportunity for uh, public comments. Are there any guests that would like to make public comments? And as a reminder, open meeting laws uh, prohibit uh, commissioners uh, to respond to any uh, public comments. But um, if uh, people want to actually become agendized next month, we can then have discussions and respond. But go ahead. Are there any public comments? OK, seeing no public comments, I'll go ahead and go on to the approval of the minutes. Um, have commissioners read the minutes and uh, are uh, any comments on the minutes from last month, May 17th? They look pretty good to me. I, they look fine to me. Uh, this is Commissioner Jarvis. I have one correction for the minutes. OK. Um, under G, I'll, I'll type her name in the um, chat. It's for um, Angelina. Her name is uh, in there incorrectly. Thank you so much, because when I tried to email them, um, both uh, the city affairs person, Valerie Chase, and I had Angel, Angel, uh, Angela. In, anyway, I, I couldn't find them on the directory, so I'm really appreciative of the correction. There, that, that's her correct name. Okay, thank you. Yep. Excellent. I can now email them. <laughs> yes, go ahead. SJ. Sarah. Oh, you already. Okay. All right. Any other corrections to the um, minutes? I don't see anybody's hands up, Jean. OK. Um, anybody want to make a motion to approve the minutes as read? This is Commissioner Camp. I approve. I make a motion, sorry, to approve. 
<laughs> Anybody second? Okay, all those in favor, uh, say aye. 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 Okay, motion passes. All right, so now we will move on to date of next meeting. Does July 19th work for everybody? Okay, we will uh, set the next meeting for July 19th. Action items, we'll move on to number eight now. Action items, update on uh, Juneteenth. Um, does, uh, I guess I, I can give that. We, uh, um, and I see that um, Councilperson House is here. Would you like to give an update on that, uh, Councilwoman? Sure, I can. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good to see everybody. Um, so we did a Juneteenth proclamation with the city on, um, I believe it was the 13th, so yeah. just the week before Juneteenth. And uh, with that, I did go ahead and introduce the fair for the code of recommendation to adopt Juneteenth as an official holiday for the city. Um, also just made mention of the collaborative work that you all have been doing with the uh, Indigenous Commission on an Indigenous People's Day um, recognition as an official holiday. Um, I did chat with the uh, city manager actually just today, and um, we were just talking about the timing of when to introduce that second one um, and looking at uh, maybe uh, working through the first first and then moving on to the the second one so that they're not overlapping or um, trying to do both at the same time but um, also just looking at if if the uh, indigenous commission or coda was looking at proposing uh, the replacement of columbus day with um, the official recognition of of that as indigenous people's day instead um, that doing it similarly with with the timing of a, a proclamation and then introducing that as a fair item at that point might also work for that so I think however you all want to go about doing that happy to be of support in that and uh, go from there wonderful thank you so much that's uh, that's actually very helpful because we were uh we did have a meeting which i'll talk about when we get to it in the agenda um and this is this this opens our eyes thank you very much okay discussion of formal efforts on the women's rights commission does anybody have a report on that i believe that that uh that work group is um bethany and carolyn is is uh absent today um Anybody have a report on that? I I missed last meeting, so I wasn't aware that we started a commission. Uh, I feel like I'm behind on that. And I may be uh, on the work group thing. It still says uh, Women's History Month, which uh, oh. you all had already taken care of and done, and that's passed. Maybe um, I think I made an assumption that that was because we had talked about uh working on a, a proposal for women's uh, a, a women's rights commission an actual yeah. commission. and um should we start a new work group or should that one roll over well i i liked the um we finished up with the proposal because i think that that got submitted i i love the idea of proposing a commission i think that could be really meaningful um with with other projects that are continue to move forward like DEI stuff and continuing to focus on women's rights so that would be my vote other comments do we do we need to start a new work group to um come up with a proposal for women's um a women's rights commission i know that this actually originally was submitted um by the former mayor uh coral evans and formal council person former council person jamie whelan and i think i sent those um uh that th those minutes or that fact sheet around um i think i did I, I i know i intended to i know i wrote it up and cleaned it up and 
Lisa, do you know if that went out? Yes, that did go out. Um, as a matter of fact, you sent it to me a few weeks back. So it did go out to everyone. Um, and I believe there was some discussion in our previous, it wasn't last month, but the previous month about doing a work group for the Women's Rights Commission. I think we just hadn't gotten around to it, but there was a discussion. Okay. Well, I know that um, uh, Carolyn specifically um, had uh, uh, ex expressed interest in being on this work group. Maybe what we can do is just wait till next month when everybody's back and um, populate the work group. Um, I know that uh, Carolyn specifically asked for the fact sheet and the, the historical record of what had already been done. So I'm a little reluctant to do anything while she's out sick. So yep, that's that everybody, uh, we can leave it on the agenda and come back to it next month when everybody's here. I think that's a good idea. Okay, all right. Well, the next item is Pride in the Pines, the parade and the festival. Um, boy, it was a blast. And uh, we had 12 people in our CODA group. And uh, we, had, um, we had Mandy's daughter with us, which was wonderful. We had family me members. We had our previous chair, uh, Deanne, and her husband, Joe. So. I just thought it was uh, um, it, it was fabulous, and as uh, uh, somebody, as Bethany pointed out before the meeting started, it was also very hot at the uh, at the festival, um, and it was also we had some wind gusts that actually took down one of the uh, one of the uh, booths, but um, I just thought it was wonderfully successful, and I'm very pleased that we are um, now starting this tradition of having a pride parade. Other comments, there were a bunch of people there. I, know, I see that there are people in the meeting. Any other comments? This is Bethany. I'm really excited that Mandy's husband volunteered his truck next year. Yes. So, folks, if you want to join us, we have big plans for music and whistles and all kinds of gear. And um, talking to people who saw us marching, they got teary-eyed seeing representation for them. There's a lot of, of difficult decisions being made in our community right now. And um, there's a lot of tension in our community and to see representation was really beautiful. They were really excited to see us out there. So that's the feedback that I'm getting. Uh, representation matters and it was wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Any other comments? There were some other folks. Uh, Mandy, yes. go ahead. Mandy said, Mandy said, my little one had a good time. And Sarah said, oh, how fun. <laughs> it was. And his little one was just precious. Um, she was, yeah, she was very decked out with her rainbow unicorn dress and umbrella and <laughs> and her little purse with her little penguin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was just wonderful. So I'm really looking forward to next year. Next year is going to be a blast also. And I'm thrilled that uh, Mandy's husband is, is um, volunteering his truck and trailer. And we can actually have a float next year. <laughs> okay. So um, moving on. Um, Proclamations. Um, the people from Proclamations are here. Mandy's here. Any reports on uh, Proclamations? I know we don't have anything this month. No, not at this time. We don't have anything we're working on. I do want to ask as an update. Um, uh, last month, um, Councilperson uh, House uh, reported to us about um, a contact she had from a, a community member about um, whether Jewish Heritage Month, why was there not a pop proclamation for that? Does anybody have any comments about that? Or does this, is this a, go ahead, somebody was going to say something. This is Beth, I'm sorry, Commissioner Camp. I think that would be great to consider if I didn't realize that was an opportunity to consider. That would be inclusive for sure. 
Hi, Commissioner Toner. This is Commissioner Pino. I my only concern with that is just the amount of possible um, religions or spirituality related um, events. I do think that maybe if we have some sort of guidelines around, you know, are we basing it off of national holidays or are we basing it off of like maybe there's some sort of like structure we can build to it so that it's just not ad hoc, random, the ones that we choose, the ones that we add or the ones that we're supporting um, for the, for this or for other future requests. Yeah, my understanding was last year we established the six ones that follow the national um, and we have had previous dis discussions in the context of um, the flagpole, not in the context of proclamations about um, uh, how you, you, uh, some kind of policy around um, religion and um, the, the feeling a couple of years ago when we talked about it in re regard to the flagpole was that um, if we um, if we allow one religion, we have to allow all religions. And then we also have the debate about um, separation of church and state. And it all gets very complex. So in in terms of what we decided with the flagpole, which, um, you know, like I said, was a few years back, was that we would not um, that we would not include um, any particular religions. So we never made a statement about it for proclamations. Uh, we only, actually, I guess indirectly we did because we, uh, what we decided at that time with the flagpole and recommended to council was that um, we have flags that go along with the proclamations that we had. And of course, the six proclamations are um, Asian American and um, uh, Pacific. I see that Lisa is, um, anyway, Go ahead, Lisa. Do you have something to say? To go I ahead. I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait until you finish. I just wanted to see Bethany's comment. She said, "But Jewish culture is being considered here, and with the increase in hate crimes, it matters." But she also gave a thumbs up to your statement because she said she does see um, the importance of it. And An Angelica um, wrote in the chat that I love that idea. Setting parameters can help us identify our rationale. And then Miss House, um, she just wrote, yes, I'd be sure to differentiate between the religious affiliation and cultural identity. In this case, Jewish Heritage Month is akin to Black History Month or Italian Heritage yes. Month, which yes. I agree with. I, I agree yes. with that. Yes, I agree. And there's, you know, Jewish diaspora. I mean, it is very different than um, I, I agree with that. So. What I'd like to see happen is a, a discussion about this um, in um, uh, the proclamation sub, you know, the uh, work group, and maybe come back uh, with um, some thoughts or recommendations about whether to um, include uh, uh, Jewish Heritage Month. Um, yeah, and Marcella just said that makes sense, noted on the differences. Okay, and especially now, I mean, anti-Semitism right um, right now is is it's it's just it's pretty scary. It's uh, the whole neo-Nazi white supremacy movement is certainly very prominent right now. So, yeah, good. Okay, do we need to vote on passing that, or or how do we? putting that to the committee, that subcommittee, or do we just say, yes, let's pick that up? I can't I remember the process, sorry. Pick that up. And I know that Mandy's on that commission, that committee, and uh, Bethany, are you on the proclamations? And so, yeah, if y'all could just come back with uh, a discussion or a recommendation for the greater group, and the, if the recommendation is just more discussion, uh, that's a recommendation also. So, you know, uh, whatever y'all come up with. We can email. I'm sure she'll. <clears throat> okay, anything else? You, that? Go you ahead. broke up. Somebody just said something, but they broke up. I couldn't hear anything. Mandy was saying, uh, talking to you about doing an email exchange. Okay. 
Well, uh, Lisa, do you have a comment? I was just going to, if we were moving up to the updated for staff liaison, I was going to comment on that. Okay, yes, we are now up at number uh, AII um, updates from staff liaison. So I'm piggybacking on what Ms. House uh, talked about for uh, Juneteenth. The proclamation was read and it was went over really well, but I want to add to that that I've actually had comments from the public and some of the city staff personnel that are looking at wanting to move it forward and make it uh, a viable holiday. And they would love to see the city's participation in that. So I wanted to add that I do sit on one of the committees and I see um, that our public has, you know, uh, put in some comments. They've sent me some emails. So they're, they're really interested in seeing us uh, pursue this as a holiday and they would like to see the city and the county's backing for it. So we're definitely going to move um, ahead with our committees and our discussions on it, but it is definitely the community's waiting for it. You guys basically is what I wanted to say. What would you propose? What what should we do as a commission right now? I mean, I know that we've already, you know, recommended the holiday. So and, much and, like I much like I emailed to you you guys yesterday regarding the indigenous holiday, yeah. putting a draft together the next time okay. we meet with our committee and making sure that we go over the draft, um, make sure that we have all the information in it that we want. And then we will deliver that draft to the head of HR, which we talked about the other day, and then he will move it forward to the leadership team and it'll go from there. Okay, so um, uh, I, I'm, um, I actually was going to report on that particular work group later, but I should say something now. Um, out of that work group, we should send a formal uh, draft of a recommendation. Is that yes. correct? Okay. And what is the timeline you want on this uh, at HR? Um, I told him because our group meets every two months that it would be in the next couple of months. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, I will definitely follow up on that. And um, and I also want to mention also what uh, Councilperson House said that uh, we should stair step our program. <laughs> so one spoon is on. <laughs> Uh, okay. And Kara, uh, Miss House is typing right now. So. Okay, Kara, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. I can also try to let you know when the fair comes up. Yes, that would be wonderful. Um, and uh, we can come as a commission and really speak to that. But I also... Um, do you have any idea or any, you know, kind of guesses? Okay, Kara, thank you. <laughs> it's so much easier for me to use first names. Um, do you have uh, any kind of idea about the um, timeline for the fair, Kara? I don't, and I apologize for that. Um, I just try and keep my my eyes peeled for when it shows as, as coming up. Uh, okay. We have so many that are in queue, but I know, you know, just in talking with the city manager today, I know he is is supporting this and um, mentioned having it, it. It had been brought up in the past among the uh, the city's team as well. So um, I'll just keep an eye out for if and and when it comes forward soon ish. Um, I think one of the last ones that was introduced by this council came up within maybe two or three months. So it may be a similar time frame for this. And that's really just uh, getting the council support of, of having, I think we need three other council members to say that they want to move that fair item forward for it to remain on that list. Um, and I don't anticipate as struggling to have that support, but um, there's always, I think, the opportunity when those items come forward for members of the public to make public comment on it. Um, and so I'll, I'll try and let you know when that happens. Awesome, thank you so much. And I'll also talk to Rose. Um, uh, we've been exchanging email about the uh, 
uh, Indigenous Persons Day, and um, because we had already kind of concluded, uh, we thought we had concluded about Juneteenth, um, but we did not draft, we have not approved in the work group uh, the formal draft of the um, resolution or the uh, recommendation for Juneteenth. That's still circulating um, as a draft. So we'll, we should have that um, within a month or so. I, I don't think we've already talked about it in the work group. So it's already in process. And then we can deal with the Indigenous Peoples uh, Day change from Columbus Day. Okay. To me, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, going back to what, you know, Bethany was saying about, you know, representation matters. These are really important issues in my view. So I'm glad that this is all happening now. Okay. Recommendations to council on updates and future items. Uh, the anti-camping ordinance, we had said before, we are, um, uh, actually uh, hoping to get a grad student to do um, a uh, project for their degree plan on the data that uh, that committee already collected. And uh, any, I, and, but last time I think that um, Marcella said is probably going to be fall before because we're in summer break now. Any updates on that, um, Marcella? No, um, the only, I guess, major update is that we have the, the VP who's here. Um, the title is now Vice President for Inclusive Excellence, and I believe the office may also be soon called Center for Inclusive Excellence, but other than that, more specifics um, to be determined. Do you know who that Vice President is, Marcella? Yes, his name is Dr. Justin Mallett. He comes out of, I want to say Missouri. Um, I can try to find his I have his chat. I have his contact info. I met him um, at the the open house, the Sunday dinner with Carol Kid. Okay, we great. were both there. We went and met him. I have his contact info. You want me to share that with you guys? That would be excellent because uh, we might want to include him in um, Ishmael's uh, request that we uh, form an educational uh, uh, initiative of some sort on landlord education. We did speak briefly with him, and that was at the Murdoch Center. It's their Sunday night dinner. It's open to the community, so it was wonderful to to see him there. And he said he would love to come meet with us, um, see what we're about, see how he can support if there's partnership, if it works with NAU and and us. So, yeah, I can. It's in my phone, but I will send it in an email. Okay, awesome. And then we can uh, invite him along with. Um, uh, person that I said Angela and that was wrong. It's Angelina uh, Castagno. Okay. I really think it's important that we, you know, try to really forge closer relationships with NAU, especially now that we have commissioners from NAU. Okay. Um, anything else on, on that? Okay, we'll move on to current uh, priorities. The work group list, the only change I made on the work group list based on last month was um, adding, uh, I, I didn't change it. Um, wait a minute. Added uh, Carolyn Kidd to, there was one that Carolyn was on, but she wasn't on the holiday, des uh, on the, um, sheet was it the flags that we've been talking about or was that tabled well we don't have a flag uh we don't have a flag work group anymore um that was a couple of years ago um when we did some uh research into it and send a recommendation to city council that was two councils ago and so that's where it ended was with a recommendation that wasn't uh it was acted on because we have a, flag, a diversity flag, but you know, uh, but it wasn't, um, it didn't come back to our group, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so the Women's History Month, I think is maybe where I added Carolyn. And uh, I guess what we need to do here, and I will do it and send it to Lisa, is change Women's History Month to um, Women's Rights Commission 
initiative or something like that. Yes. Okay. That's, that's where we need a change. And if you could update that and send that out, out to all of us, we'll get together and, and get our timeline straight to okay. proceed with that work group. Perfect. Okay. So we've got that. Um, collaboration with library and history uh, of LGBTQIA plus and flight staff. Nothing to report. Um, our uh, our uh, person that we work with at the library, Felicia, um, is uh, interim uh, supervisor there now. So um, we just we just didn't meet this week be, this past month between um, uh, Felicia's added uh, responsibilities and with. Um, the uh, pride, we, we just didn't, but we'll get back to it next month. And so I'll have something to report next month. Do you want to say anything about the pride um, panel, Bethany? Which I thought was wonderful. I think I was, I was excited to see people show, you know, it's always like who's going to show what's yeah. going to happen. Um, there was really thoughtful discussion and connections between the folks that were there and um, it was great that we even saw folks that attended at the pride march and <laughs> they were acknowledging us so again just being out in the community getting our name out there um, connecting with with other people in our community that was great but the history hearing the history and um, what what the pride group continues to do in town was wonderful and to learn more about that there's some really uh, powerful history here. Absolutely agreed. And uh, also a uh, shout out here to Lisa, who really was very instrumental in helping collect some of the old CODA history. And of course, having Deb and her replacement, um, uh, Zane, it was great to hear all that history of pride. So quite wonderful. Okay, and I'm just looking at the uh, chat here and Bethany saying she'd like to be part of the Women's Commission. Okay, um, so next next week, we'll, next time we'll have uh, um, an update on the uh, history project. Um, I just don't have anything this, week, this month. Um, okay, women's calendar reports, that's Bethany. So this is actually what I wanted to be our resource page. So not just the Women's History Month calendar, but each month, Lisa and I were partnering to see if we could get permission from the city for us to have a resource page on the CODA website for our community members to access resources, information, you know, just kind of step up what we do in the community a little bit more um, to be front and center for um, our citizens to, to access. And we did I, get permission. We did get permission. Yes. Woo. Okay. <laughs> where's that's it gonna be big. posted? Where's it gonna be posted, Lisa? Well, that's what I'm still waiting to find out because I'll give you guys an update. We are um, updating our city website in general. So there's some things that are being changed around. And I have a meeting in two weeks where I will be sitting down and talking about some of the updates that are coming from my division. And I'll have a little bit more information uh, in July. Um, and if I get it before our next meeting, Bethany, I will email that information to you. You are so wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. We could not do this without you. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Um, awesome. OK, so uh, the next thing is the upcoming election for chair and vice chair. Now, um, I, I know that uh, our former, uh, our ex officio uh, chair is with us, uh, D. Wegwart, and much of this um, kind of organization that we had was under her leadership. And now what we have is that we have a vice president and a president, I mean, a vice chair and a chair that are actually voted on in July. And the reason for that is because uh, we also have a leadership meeting every month with Lisa, with our liaison, and that happens the Wednesday after every commission meeting. And what we do at that, that leadership meeting is um, we form the agenda for the next month. 
before we forget everything. The reason we do it right away after a meeting is so that the memory doesn't go away. <laughs> anyway, so um, so what what also happened? That's with the vice chair and the chair, and then that gives the the vice chair plenty of time to you know get ready to be chair the following year. So if somebody is vice chair they're in line to be chair the following year. So that's a two year commitment. And so um, if for any reason, you know, whoever is vice chair doesn't want to be vice chair, July is a time to say so, so that we, uh, and I certainly uh, really want Mandy to move forward. So I hope that's not the case, but that is the uh, protocol that we set in motion under D's leadership. So, um, this is a heads up that next month we will be voting on um, leadership on uh, Mandy moving up to chair and uh, somebody um, either volunteering or being nominated to be vice chair. Um, is that clear? Have I made that clear what the protocol is? Any questions? OK, so be thinking about that. Uh, be thinking about um, if anybody wants to step up to the plate and be um, uh, vice chair. Um, and like I said, the, the main thing that um, this, it really only requires one, one meeting a month, and that's with Lisa, to set the agenda the week after um, the week after the commission meeting. Um, that's the main that's that's the main kind of responsibility, as well as, of course, chairing meetings and the vice chair is always there to chair if for whatever reason the chair can't be there. So be thinking about it um, and we will have uh, that election in June, July so that the new people are available to have two months training going to the leadership meeting and seeing how Lisa uh, works with us to keep the agenda rolling. And I, okay, just want ahead, to say, I just want to say real quick, I will um, always reach out to you all if I have to change that meeting. Like if I'm on vacation or if I'm out sick, <clears throat> excuse me, I really didn't want to cough today. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, y'all. This long haul COVID. <laughs> um, so I will always contact you by email um, if I don't get to schedule it the Wednesday after the meeting. So like this coming Wednesday, it'll be, I think, the 28th. And Jean and I and the rest of the leadership team will go over um, the agenda for July. So if I can't make that meeting or if there's a, a problem with my schedule, I will reach out to you guys and let you know. Fabulous. Thank you. OK, agendas for a future meeting. Um, nothing to report on with the commemorative flags. Uh, uh, I don't know. Kara, do you have anything uh, about uh, Juneteenth flag? Not Juneteenth, but uh, Black History Month. OK. Well, we just leave that one on the commission on the on the agenda because um, we want to be able to keep it agendized so we can talk about it for any updates on um, the flags that uh, also go in uh, collaboration with our uh, proclamations, and that's a work in progress. Okay, um, wow, we got through this whole entire. I knew it was a light agenda. And that probably goes with summertime also, but uh, I I've never seen a meeting happen in 40 minutes. So other comments, <laughs> other comments uh, yeah, go ahead, Lisa. Well, I was just gonna say that was pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. But we did cover everything today. Yes. And, you know, we did defer some things till next month, you know, uh, so, Next month, we'll probably be a little bit busier again. But boy, we have just completed a very busy two months for a commission. So uh, 
I think that's part of the reason it's a little bit lighter now too. We've we've actually covered a lot of ground uh, in the last two months. Well, any more comments? Do we have any comments from our visitors? And thank you visitors for being here. We love the public being here. Any comments? I don't see this, anybody's hand up. This is D. I just want to thank all of you for sticking with this and hanging in there. I just can't tell you how important I think this is for the city of Flagstaff. Thank you for all you're doing. Oh, and big hugs to D. It was so good to be in the Pride Parade and with you and Joe. And all this organization we have now happened under D's leadership. So I am infinitely grateful. Okay, well, if there's nothing else, uh, we can adjourn. Uh, we can adjourn early at uh, 11 minutes after two. And everybody have a wonderful month, and we'll see you in July. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, Ray. Bye. Okay. Take care, everybody.